Hey guys, welcome back to Favorite Iron and Customs. I'm Michael. Um, today I'm doing an unboxing on a new shop tool. Um, it showed up several days early. Now, this I have seen mixed reviews on this and I have seen where lots of upgrades will need to be done to it before it will do what I need it to do. Um, but I have looked in the area and looked in the area and looked in the area and tried to find a lathe and I just haven't had any luck. Um, after I made this purchase, you know, you kind of sometimes have buyer's regret but um we're going to take this thing and we are going to make it do what it needs to do whatever it takes so this is a vivor supposedly it is a vivor uh seven by 16 uh, tabletop lathe um, i'm going to remove all of my grinders off of my bench on the other side of the Mazda and this will be after the Mazda is out of here I'm going to put it over there I set it up over there and use it over there um, there's just not there's nowhere over on this side of the shop for it even after I get some of the stuff cleaned out it's, it, that's where it's gonna have to be and so far as the bench grinders and stuff I've got a system coming up for the bench grinders, the, uh, I'm gonna actually do the tire machine, um, the B roller, I've got a shrinkers and stretchers that I haven't, they, I mean, we used them one time and you know, just had it clamped to the side of the trailer when we were working on Glenn's trailer one day. Um, and a few other tools. Um, I've got a plan coming in the future for building a receiver system to use like a receiver style uh, mount in the floor so that you can take the tool up set it against the wall you know in a small space and pull it out when you need it you know these tools that need to be mounted down like the shrinker stretchers got to be mounted down you know the uh, bead roller has to be mounted down if, if I ever get a pipe machine it will have to be mounted down but we want to create a way, a situation in which you can take that up, put it out of the way, stack it against the wall in a rack or something. And anyway. All right, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to get into opening this box. Um, I have not opened it. I've been home long enough to move it from the outside to the inside. Um, all they have holding this thing closed. I thought it had screws in it when I first got home and it may suppose to have screws in it. I just got these tabs. And like I said, this is not gonna be a make it run today. I'm not gonna see chips fly in this video. I apologize you know, to anybody with that expectation. Um, I am not even going to mess with this other than I may plug it in just to make sure everything works or turns on but that is going to be it. I'm not sure how this was shipped. I expect it was shipped on a truck. What does it say? It says FedEx Express. That's surprising. It's not really that heavy. Um, it probably weighs 100 pounds. It says plus uh, 30 kilograms, I think, somewhere I saw. So I'm assuming it's around 100 pounds. It's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be, or maybe I just feel stronger today than I normally do. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what holds the lid on. Uh, can y'all see? All right, on the top is the chip tray and some packing. And, hmm. You know, I really wasn't planning on pulling this box completely apart, but I think 
I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to stop right there for a second. I'll come back. Okay, guys, I got the top off of it. Um, let's see. S716G, that should be the correct model number. There is the tool kit. That looks a little probably janked up in shipping. Yeah. Um, forward and reverse switch, which is nice. This is supposed to be the brushless blade with the permanent magnet motor in it. Um, let's see, let's just take a look at a few things. Um, guys, I've not really, and the uh, little knob for the, um, I apologize, I do not know uh, terminology for uh, lathes and milling machines yet, but there's actually another knob missing, one there too, hopefully they're in a the box, we'll look in a second. Um, what was I trying to look at? Yeah. Some of the looseness that we're going to have to get into. Um, let's see if we can loosen the tail stock. Huh. Okay. We'll have to check and see if that's, uh, true to center at some point, like I said. Uh, some of the videos that I've been watching online, I'm just kind of looking to see if this machine looks like it has the same problems. And We've got some looseness that we need to take care of and some things. I think the bush in here is going to have to be replaced. That's all I got to report. Uh, say something about the a bushing being that bushing is loose. But uh, anyway, like I said, this is just basically unboxing. We are not going to, there will be a, whenever I've had time to, uh, spend some time with this machine, clean it up, adjust to everything, do a little more reading and stuff on making sure everything's adjusted right. We will have another video. Um, and I've been thinking that I will probably maybe try to do one video a week. There's another set of jaws for the chuck. Uh, the All of the gears. I think this has to do with um, setting uh, your to where you can cut threads, which will be nice. Um, that is a that's the uh, or the uh, it's not a live center, but it's uh, the center for the tail stock. Like I said, we're going to get into this more in the future. Um, just wanted to, you know, keep you guys in the loop. Um, I think I am. We, why don't we go ahead, we're going to plug it in and just turn it on and see what the motor sounds like. I'm actually going to open the cover and make sure everything looks like it's okay in here before we get too far into this and something goes way out of whack. You got a little damage right there. Probably from, yeah, something has hit, got hung up in there at some point. So we do need to fire this up and check it over really well. Okay, I think I kind of have this thing figured out. Um, you have to put it in a direction and then hold the power button for it to energize. 
Which we should probably turn the speed down to zero. And if you turn it to zero, it turns the machine off. Maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. No, it just turned itself off. It timed itself off when it's on zero. So, yeah, I need to take the manual inside and do a bunch of reading and watch some more videos and figure some more things out and play with it some and you know uh, go from there but uh what we're gonna do i'm gonna get the mazda painted and when i get the mazda painted we're gonna revisit this and go from there um you know if i can make the spacer for my flywheel for the flathead and you know a few other parts you know this machine will pretty much have well paid for itself you know and you know maybe i'll learn how to run a lathe along the way i mean i know how to run a brake lathe but this is only got a couple of more knobs <laughs> brake lathes <laughs> Um, anyway, y'all, uh, leave your thoughts down in the, uh, comment section, um, and, uh, like and subscribe, and if you want to see me make videos on this thing as I'm trying to learn how to use it, let me know. I'll make a, you know, 10 or 15 minute video every week or something, and, uh, that's it, guys. Uh, I have still got to make the video... <laughs> that I was going to do on the review on the tool that I wanted to do and that's going to be next week um like I said this just showed up today so it uh you know took the next place in line for videos and um like I said I'm making all these videos trying to get the stuff here at the house finished I've got to go to the boat tomorrow which will be you know last week by the time you see this video um and put some batteries in the boat and a new battery charger on the boat and stuff like that but i have got to get the shop cleaned up get this car painting this car out and then we can get back to doing uh ferro iron and custom stains in the shop and i've got so much to do so much to do i'm going to get a whiteboard we're going to write stuff on the whiteboard so y'all can see what's coming up but i have got a ton an absolute there's nothing in this yard that doesn't need something done to it or you know none of my none of my toys that don't need something done to it you know anyway like i said y'all leave a like and comment down below i'll talk to y'all later on